Now, the Directorate of Criminal Investigations, DCI, has responded to a viral self-recorded video featuring a Kenyan woman who's working in Saudi Arabia who alleged to have been conned out of her 300 thousand Kenya shillings. Now, according to reports, she reported the matter to the Kasarani, uh, to DCI, sorry, Kasarani only, to lose an additional 50,000 in an attempt to recover her initial loss. And to be very honest, this happens a lot. Like, they even tell you, quite, come on and, uh, you know, to the police, to the cop station, if yeah. you don't know someone for, you know, most of the times you will not be assisted. Yeah. But if you want it to, you know, you want them to speed up the process, what do you need to do? Hey, come you need to fork <laughs> out something. And sometimes, you know, you're, you're asked for money that when you look at what it is you lost, you're wondering, do I just buy a new one? Right. You know, and that time it's not guaranteed that you might get it back. And I'm not saying it's all cops who do it, but it's, some, it's a very common occurrence when you go to the police station. So, um, Mudani? All right, so I think, uh, first of all, uh, he, she, the, the lady who is in the video, she had to watch the burial of the father live from Saudi Arabia, which is very sad. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, uh, it goes to say about the cost of justice in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Because this lady, Ali Potes, that 300,000, and for her, in, or, in order for her to retrieve that 300,000, I'm a petition, Lazima Alipe Mafuta Yagari. Lazima chote sijui nani, ndiyo wafike huko, wafanye sijui nini. Yeah, so I think it's very sad that she had to go through this uh, and to see the, va to, to watch actually, to watch the burial of her father live from Saudi Arabia. And I think that's very sad. Yeah, and yeah. also now that, uh, you know, we are in tough economic times. You can imagine what 300,000 shillings can do to someone, mm. you know, in this time For and someone, age. Yeah. That's a lot of money. Okay. And I'm imagining that Uko Saudi Arabia, you know, to, to, to make that kind of money, you know, she has worked, she has done a lot of things, she has saved. Remember, her life is also going on. So probably this is her entire savings. And, you know, she sent, she sent the money to the wrong person. Mm. And now she has seeked, you know, the help of the police. Then the very basic thing that she expects is arrest this person, you know. Arrest this person. Let, let, let us get this person to get us our money. So this person has lost money. And then now she has to use money In order to, to get the, the money. Lost money. Money that she already doesn't have. Remember, yeah. this, like you said, these are my life savings. Meaning mm -hmm. that I am already just... I have nothing to give anymore. Yeah. Please help me find this one. Quite, and it's so heartbreaking to see people. And this is, of course, she's not the first person to have gone through that, where you send money um, and then you have nothing to show for it after yeah. three, five years of working. Yeah. yeah. So and so. I, I think uh, one thing that I know for sure with our DCI, if they want to find the culprit, they will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If something needs to happen, it will. We've seen them finding people with the smallest of details. Yeah. So if, if yeah, there's yeah. a guy in Kilelesho who was found with a yeah. jacket. I say, yeah, CCTV I was just going to say. I was jacket. just going to say. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And the jacket is what led to the arrest of this person. So that's what I'm saying. If in this country, uh, the, good, the good part is if they want to do it, they will. The bad part is for them to want to do it, something has to happen. Either the public outro like this one, because now when it's a high profile case, now it also gives them publicity. But also, if um, you fork out something, mm -hmm. who are BA, you are already looking for 300,000. <laughs> That's how they reason. You Imagine. are already looking for 300,000. Spend 20 more. Mm -hmm. Spend 50 more. Uyo ni mtu ambaya kona laki tatu. Kwa hivyo, tukimuambia atuwe ishirini. Ishirini ni kidogo. But a lot of Kenyans also do not know that in Kenya, legally, you are required to give a portion of your nini if, you, if, you, if they find it. Oh, really? Yeah, a percentage of your of your what's lost. Wait. If you if the police help you to find it, it's wait, not... wait. I thought they're doing their job. No, no, their job is protected from being stolen. But once it's stolen, <laughs> it's stolen. <laughs> to, yeah. now for no, them to retrieve it, it. yeah, the retrieving is yeah. So when they retrieve it, no, I think it's something like ten percent. I'm not sure. It's mm. like ten percent. You have to give the value of the thing they have recovered. You give ten percent of it. Yeah. Mm. To be honest, I mean, if 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 they do bring it back, I don't think I'd have a problem. Mm. It doesn't feel as bad because either way, I don't have it, right? It's, it's lost. Mm. Yeah. It's completely lost. Yeah. Uh, but I feel so bad for her, man. Yeah. I think this story for sending money home, back mm. home, you think, hey, kuna mm. kongadru na She's not the first one, like, just like Amina has said, she's mm. not the first person who anatuma, anatuma pesa nyumbani, alafu kidogo pesa ipatikani, ama ilisha agulu. Mm. Mm. And the, pro the problem with this, what, what uh, really ties the hands of those who are following it up is also that money sent willingly without, uh, it's like when you're called in a Ponzi scheme. Imagine. I know the government is has a role to protect you against such like things, yeah. but uh, sometimes they really just do not know how to help you because yeah. 
this is someone you guys were in a consensual relationship mm. and you agreed together mm -hmm. to do maybe you of course you can follow up if they did not deliver what they were supposed to but also you proving mm. that they were supposed to deliver what you were saying they were supposed to mm. because someone you can send someone money na mtu aseme ah mimi alikuwa anaitumia kama dada yangu mwenye ako ngambo ni zawadi you know the worst ones quote is when your friend borrows money from you and yeah. you know your friend i mean see you judge them based on their lives yeah. right so yeah. if they ask you for 100k 10k 20k you know who you are rudisha yes so i think sasa yeah. the yeah. worst you have nothing you don't even have a text message mm -hmm. saying hey quatch i have sent you money mm -hmm. you are to pay but there's nothing mm -hmm. i think we, mm -hmm. we agreed that when you send somebody money mm -hmm. yeah. tu mm -hmm. i think uh, i think <laughs> in this economy <laughs> from you to 10k you can to 10k you are but but the great the greater, I'm a Kenyan. Yeah. And the I bigger understand. the bigger the bigger impact of this is what we do not know that the amount of money that the people in diaspora send back home that help our economy mm -hmm. is huge. Mm -hmm. The, the amount of money people in diaspora mm -hmm. send back home mm -hmm. is huge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But so that it, small things like this if they happen and now it is discouraging money from outside mm -hmm. to be uh, injected into our economy. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the long run our general economy suffers because people are being disingenuous mm. like integrity in this country is an issue it is an people issue. are not being told taught how just just be just be a true person mm. whether you are a friend whether you are a sibling whether you are just be a true person usikule pesa and and it is the closest person to you that yeah. will steal from you i love saying you know pesa kwanza hata si mingi so you're like this was the cost of our friendship or yeah. our yeah. Yeah. okay anyway, that also, we have some time yeah, yes okay yeah. Yeah. there's also that factor for when you send somebody money uh, you know you agree also that friendship has also Ended. disappeared it has ended yeah that's yeah. true but i do agree with muzoni akikuomba yo 3k 5k there's not a chance it might not come back are you okay with that mimi namba yangu bado ni ile nitumie tu 5k kufanishe una just say una una patia mtu pesa Hey, upon a pressure. Pre mm. That's when now you see them living life and you're yeah. like with my money. Na, na kuna kitu mbaya kama kuingia club ama kuingia place mbona. Yeah. Msa na kula fit na kona doza. Na kona pesa. Akona deni yako. The worst yeah. ones are those ones who are nini lipa nitakutumia. Yeah. Victor tafadhali yeah. nitumie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ama wewe lipa. Wewe lipa. Mimi Nairobi. Victor nitumie. Sio wewe na shida. I'm like basi pia yangu ina shida. You know yeah. this that's what I do. Yetu yote sasa ina shida basi. 